Have you ever recorded with two cameras and a mic, then spent hours trying to line up the audio? Yeah, I've been there. Let me show you the fastest way to sync everything in Premiere Pro without the headache. Whether you're shooting interviews, podcasts, or multicam YouTube videos, syncing audio manually, it's like trying to herd cats with a stopwatch. But Premiere Pro actually has tools built in that can do the heavy lifting for you. My name's Matt, and welcome back to Matt Reviews and Teaches Stuff. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the whole process of syncing audio. So I recorded some video with a Canon R6 Mark II with a DJI Mark II receiver mounted to the camera. And then I also had the DJI Mic 2 microphone that I was clipped onto my shirt for this particular video. I also had a GoPro recording from a different angle and it was recording its own audio independently. So what I wanted to do was sync up that Canon footage with the audio that recorded directly to the transmitter and then also sync up the GoPro footage and make sure that everything was lined up and that my lips were synced to the audio. If you're here specifically just to see how that process works and how to sync the audio, then make sure you hit the chapter markers down below and I'll jump right to that spot. Because prior to that, I wanna talk about a little issue I experienced with the DJI Mic 2 microphones. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about inside Adobe Audition. The challenge here was that when I had my receiver plugged into the top of the Canon R6 Mark II, it had a boost on it for about 6 to 9 dB. And that's normally okay, but I have a feeling that my camera was also set to boost the audio gain. And so I really had that gain uh, cranked up. And so typically what I do when I'm recording audio with the DJI Mic 2 into my camera as I will let it mux in and record into that video file, but I'll also record the audio independently on the transmitter because the transmitter won't have any gain assigned to it. And so if something goes wrong with the audio on the camera side, I'll still be able to use that audio from the transmitter. So let me show you what that looked like inside of Adobe Audition. So here we are inside of Adobe Audition and you can see we've got two audio tracks here, the left and right. So the left track, we're not gonna worry about. What I had done with that one is since the DJI Mic 2 comes with two transmitters. Sometimes I'll take that second transmitter and put it far away to just record some ambient noise. Uh, some people in the professional recording industry will refer to that as room tone, uh, just to get some underlying background noise. So that if there's something weird that happens, I can substitute some ambient background noise in there. But the right channel, the bottom portion, is the actual audio where I was speaking the entire time. And you can see a problem right away. Like it doesn't look like typical waveform audio. It's flat on the top and bottom. That indicates a major problem with your audio. That indicates that it was way too loud when it was recording and it's essentially clipped that audio. So it's it's crushed that audio and there's not much I can do to recover it. So if I go over and try to decrease the volume on this, you'll see mm, it stays flat. That is not what we want to see. It, it stayed flat all the way across the board, which means that audio is basically going to be practically useless. I can bring that volume down, but it's it's going to be clipped and it's not going to sound great. So this is a case where I'm definitely going to want to sync up audio with another source if I had it. So I'm going to pull up the audio from the transmitter itself. So you can see this waveform already looks so much better than what we saw before. You can see there's plenty of space above and below that. Um, I can amplify this audio, you know, quite a bit and I still have room to play with. So this is gonna be much better audio to work with than what we had with the audio straight out of the camera. So with that, let's switch over to Premiere Pro and we'll kind of go through the process of how we synchronize that audio. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro. So I've already got my media files imported into Premiere Pro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the main video file into the timeline and create a sequence. Let me jump this down here. And you'll see right away what we've got is our same audio tracks that we were talking about before. You'll notice here we have a left and a right. So again, that left audio track was just the ambient noise. And then the right audio was the microphone that I was wearing on my shirt. And I'll do a quick playback of that so you can hear just how loud that is right out of the camera. At times you can you can kind of substitute righteous for, for good in this case. And you definitely um, can basically see... Basically what this passage is saying is that... You can definitely see on the audio meter that it was clipping on that far side. The audio doesn't sound as bad as I thought it would, but it's still not great. So let me go ahead and shrink this back down. Okay, I've got that shrunk back down. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the main audio file. This was the independent file that I've already imported from the transmitter. You actually get this just by plugging in a USB cable into the side of the transmitter and plugging it into the computer. And then it shows up like a drive uh, either in Finder or Windows Explorer. And you can just drag that wherever you need that file to go. 
So what we're going to do now is I'm also going to drag in the GoPro footage that I recorded. And I'm just going to put it right here at the end for right now. So right away, what we need to do is we need to get this audio file in sync. So I'm going to move the GoPro footage down just a little bit further out of the way. So the way you synchronize audio, it's really slick inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. You just select the two clips that you want to synchronize, and then you can right click on those and scroll down and you'll choose synchronize and just hit OK. All right, so we've seen that's completed. It has moved the video on down and left the DJI audio side in place. So what I'm gonna do now, just to clean things up a little bit, is I'm just gonna ripple edit this down and I'm gonna click over here to bring everything back. So there we go. I'm gonna just hit play so you can hear both audio tracks. It's me, my life is so hard, um, I have problems, and like, who doesn't, right? All right, and now I'm gonna mute the audio that was directly recorded through the transmitter, through the receiver into the camera. So we're only gonna hear the audio from the transmitter and you'll see it is definitely still in sync. But it goes deeper than that. Um, the post mm -hmm. starts right off away, you can hear that audio is a lot cleaner. To them being a quote unquote good person. And definitely has room to be amplified and brought up a little bit. The level's brought up a little bit higher, but it, it's pretty good where it stands right now. So we see we've got that in sync. So now the problem comes with the GoPro footage. I've got these two files synced up. If I want to sync up the GoPro footage, a lot of people think you would just select all the footage and choose right click and you would go down to synchronize and wait a minute, synchronize is grayed out. So what do I do now? Well, if you've got multiple pieces of footage, it's pretty simple fix, but one it took me a while to remember over and over again. And that is simply to grab that other footage and you want to bring it up on its own on its own track. So independent of where all of the rest of the files are. So we've got it. We took the GoPro footage. We brought it up one video track and we've got the audio drop down uh, one track below the, the DJI recording. So now what we do is we select all the footage. We right click and you'll see synchronize. So we'll go ahead and synchronize that again to audio track channel one. And there you go. It has synchronized both of those audio tracks. So everything is in sync now. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this right here. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like. I've got the GoPro audio only on right now. The most shocking piece of this post, the most shocking piece to... Now I'm going to turn the GoPro audio off, turn on the DJI transmitter on. To me was the fact that they said, I'm done helping. And you can see people. it's still in sync. I'm done helping people. So, and I thought that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a really wow, simple a, process to synchronize your a, audio. So, that's pretty much all there is to it to sync audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, this process is pretty similar in DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And I believe the process is the same inside of CapCut and Canva. There might be some little nuances that are a little bit different. For the most part, that's how you would do audio synchronization in your video editor. If this video saved you even five minutes of editing time, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. That'll help me know that more people want to see these types of videos, especially around Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got more Premiere Pro tips coming that'll speed up your workflow even more. Uh, feel free to hit the like button. And if you know somebody else that could use this, it would be awesome if you would share it. And if you've got more ways or better ways or alternative ways to synchronizing audio, leave a comment below. I always enjoy reading the comments. I do my best to engage with all of them. And again, that just helps me know this is the type of video that you want to see. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.